The Weather Authority and Exact Track 4D, cutting edge technology, giving you the most accurate forecast down to your street. Taking a live look over downtown right now. Check this out. It's a little rough out there this morning. A little bit cloudy, a little bit rough. Typical nor'easter conditions and not the best weather to kickstart our day, that's for sure. It's a great day to stay inside, enjoy your coffee, and just kind of relax if you ask me. If I was home right now, that is exactly what I would be doing this morning. Temperatures 49 degrees. Winds out of the north at 16 miles per hour. So taking a live look at some of our cameras early on this morning. Take a look at South Ponte Vedra Beach. This flag, it's torn apart. It's basically ripped to shreds, holding on by a thread early on this morning. You can see the rough seas in both the Neptune Beach camera here and the South Ponte Vedra Beach camera. Jack's Beach camera, it looks like it's a little kind of uh, not exactly the best view right now. The camera looks like it took a beating late last night. And here's a look over the downtown area early on this morning. Gloomy clouds, gray skies. This air low area of low pressure is going to continue to move offshore as our nor'easter going to bring us a lot of moisture in the air. Those high winds, especially along our coastline, and it's going to move a lot of water onshore during high tide. But once the system moves on through later on this afternoon and this evening, this dry air is going to make its way in and we will dry things out as we head into tomorrow. So taking a live look at exact track 4D, heavy rainfall anywhere from Lake City all the way to Jacksville from coast to coast as we make our way through this morning. Areas like Waycross, Homerville, Valdosta, you're seeing some of that moderate to heavy rainfall right now, really along the Valdosta Highway there. The Lakeland area, Waycross, you're looking at some lighter rainfall currently. A bit of a break in Lake City, but still some rainfall off to the west, so they still have some showers in your forecast within the next hour or so. And then those of you along the I-95 corridor and pushing east, you started off dry this morning. Now those rains are picking up, and they're going to continue throughout the morning hours. So that's where we're going to see that an extra one to two inches of rainfall and the ponding on our roadways. So heavy rainfall from Jack's Beach down to Nocatee, Ponte Vedra, St. Augustine right now. And even further south as you head into I-95 and Palm Coast, Palatka, Hastings area, that's where you're seeing a lot of the heavy rainfall early on this morning. So as we take you hour by hour, we head into 8 a.m. Still dealing with those heavy rains continuing to push offshore. By 1 p.m. this afternoon, more scattered shower activity, and then we slowly start to dry things out as we head into tonight, into the overnight hours, and mostly dry as we head into Sunday morning. But still on Sunday morning, we're going to be dealing with the northerly wind, so it's going to be chilly outside. We're going to be dealing with a little bit of cloud cover. That's going to stick around at least through the rest of the weekend. And we're also going to be dealing with some breezy, windy conditions sticking around as well as we continue through our weekend. Now, rainfall totals moving forward. Some of us have already seen in one to two inches. We're going to expect anything, especially along the east coast here where those Rains are really starting to pick up this morning. Another two to three inches possible along our coastline for today. We're also watching the tidal flooding. High tide for most locations anywhere from 9 to 11 a.m. all the way down our coast. We're going to be watching for flooding and significant beach erosion moving forward. We have reporters on site watching for that and we're going to be tracking these morning downpours moving forward. We also have a gale warning along our beaches with the double red flag, so it's a, not a great day to go to the beach whatsoever with a very high to extreme rip current risk. Because look at these surf heights, these, I should say, these wave heights just offshore from these buoys. 10, 11, 14 feet right off the South Georgia coast to the Northeast Florida coast. Those are some pretty high swells out there. The winds are also on the high side. Take a look at these winds. 33 miles per hour for your winds at Jack's Beach right now. I really need Vic Michelucci out there with an anemometer to really read those wind speeds out there right now. Hopefully you can hear me. Vic, go get an anemometer. 20 miles per hour for your winds in the Mayport area. 16 miles per hour in Jacksonville right now. Those wind gusts as we continue throughout the day are going to gust anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour as we head through this morning. They'll relax to around 25 to 35 miles per hour as we head into this evening. And then tomorrow we're still seeing that possibility for those wind gusts to be anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour. Still a breezy day as we head into Sunday, although we're going to subtract rain from the forecast. Visibility wise, some of you looking at less than three miles of visibility, all because we see low lying clouds with these systems. We have those misty conditions and the visibility can be low in some spots. So please, if you do have to head out, allow yourself plenty of time. Drive with caution. The roads are wet. The roads are slick and there's low visibility. Temperatures are also chilly. 49 degrees right now at the Jacksonville Airport. 45 in Brunswick, 45 in Waycross, 52. The warm spot in the area is in St. Augustine right now. So we continue through the day. 
will reach temperatures will reach the low 50s. That is well below average for this time of year. High around 51 degrees, cold and rainy outside. If you needed the perfect day for a self care day to sit inside, watch some Netflix and not care about the world outside, today is the day to do it. Heading into tomorrow, a few clouds of rain in the forecast. Looks good and dry for the Jags game, but still chilly, so you want the jacket. And then sunshine returns in full force with those temperatures back up into the 70s as we head into the rest of your seven-day forecast.